First, though, it's being billed as all-out war. That's the verdict this morning as Prince Harry accuses the palace of playing a dirty game. In the latest trailer for their Netflix series, there are more claims about the way that Meghan was treated, although some of the footage used is already being questioned. Well, seven million people have watched that trailer. The series is due to be released on Thursday. And tonight, Harry and Meghan will be making a public appearance in New York. Well, GMB's No Phillips is there for us now. We're also joined by royal commentator Jenny Bond. No, if I could ask you, first of all, um, we heard there in the trail that this was about hatred and this was about race. And that's very relevant to what's happening tonight, isn't it? That's right, Lorraine. So as you mentioned, we'll be seeing Harry and Meghan for the first time since those trailers were uh, released. They'll be making a public appearance down in Manhattan in New York. They'll be gracing a red carpet for the Ripple of Hope Awards. Now, uh, it, now that them being given this award has caused a bit of controversy because previous winners have included Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Bono and Desmond Tutu, just to name a few. And they are essentially being recognised uh, for speaking out about racial injustice within uh, the royal family. And Lorraine, I'm not sure if you've got enough money in the bank, but, it, but a ticket to this award ceremony costs a whopping £841,000. So if you've got that money spare, you can go along, sit around a huge table with Harry and Meghan, have a bit of dinner and then listen to them deliver a speech afterwards. But it really is going to be a very interesting moment. We'll be watching closely to see whether or not they'll be uh, addressing uh, those racism claims that, that have rocked uh, Buckingham Palace in the last week or so. We're also going to be watching very closely just to see if they do make any public comments at all. But there is a lot of uh, people who... Uh, will essentially be turning out, hoping to, to get a glimpse of the couple, because I think it's fair to say that trailer that you just played is incredibly damning. And a lot of people now just watching and just waiting to see uh, when, uh, you know, to see the impact of when uh, that first episode is released on Thursday. Uh, it's, I, th I think it's fair to say <laughs> it's left me speechless. I remember, Lorraine, one of my first assignments here in America was covering Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah. And I remember sat and watching that interview and thinking, wow, they have single-handedly changed the course of royal history. But these trailers have are just leaving us completely, uh, you know, stunned and speechless and not knowing what to say. I think we're, like you and everyone else, just, just waiting to see how far they go with these claims of racism, mistreatment, and also, um, uh, you know, claims about, you know, the palace, you know, putting, uh, deliberately putting stories in, in the press, negative stories about Meghan Markle. Stay with us, Noel, because I want to come back to you, but do stay with us. Thank you for the moment, because... As you said there, the show, the credibility is in doubt, though, following footage used in those trailers, including this image, which has got nothing to do with Harry and Meghan. It's actually from a court case involving Katie Price. And another one, um, well, this is actually paparazzi following one of Donald Trump's lawyers. It's very bizarre. Jenny, what do you make of it all? Because... I don't understand this. I don't understand why they would use footage that's got nothing to do with Harry and Meghan. Well, I think you're being very kind saying it's bizarre. I mean, it's extremely sloppy production values, isn't it? Uh, here's Harry and Meghan saying we, we want to give you our truth, the truth, as Harry is calling it. Um, and yet the, there's a gross distortion in their trailers. Both trailers have used stills which are not true reflections of the uh, interest, the press interest in Meghan and Harry. So what else is going to be uh, distorted in these upcoming documentaries? I mean, I'm really interested to hear what what Harry himself and Meghan herself say, great. I mean, I think it's probably quite important that we do hear that, the, have we heard it all before. Um, but is it going to be edited in a particular way if this is the, the production value? Hmm, I, I yeah. wonder. Diana features very heavily in this trailer. You know, Harry does talk about the pain and the suffering of women who marry into the institution and that he's worried about history repeating itself. Yeah, I mean, Diana 
she was besieged by photographers mm. constantly. It was nothing like on that level with Meghan. Uh, the intrusion, and I suppose there was some intrusion, certainly the interest was nothing like as great. But I do take issue with Harry saying the pain and suffering of women who married into this institution. We have the example of Sophie Rhys-Jones, lovely, charming young woman who married into the royal family, married Edward, now the Countess of Wessex, and um, she, she has really fitted in very well, loves her life, loves her husband. Similarly, of course, Catherine. Catherine has fitted in very well and is our future queen. And, you know, Diana also, I think, would have been happy within the institution. She talked to me about it. She was a huge supporter of the monarchy. She wanted William to be king. But the trouble with Diana is that she had an unhappy marriage from the start, and that's what drove her out. And also, as we know, she did sometimes phone up the tabloids to let them know where she was. Not always, but, you know, she, like Harry's called it a dirty game. And it, and it can be, it can be, but on both sides, maybe. Oh, absolutely. Diana was uh, very adept at planting stories, meeting reporters, particularly from the, from the Daily Mail. Uh, Richard Kay, he's written about it this morning. You know, he himself says, yeah, she was, she was very clever at that. She, she often rang up news desks um, and said, I'm going to be in such and such a place. So, you know, she played this game, as Harry has called it, though in the past he has said, you know, this isn't a game. And I, I don't think it is, actually. No. It's not a game. It's, uh, it's a very, very hurtful situation. And I can only feel for King Charles. Um, and I'm really glad that the Queen isn't here to, to witness this. I wonder if it, gone, if it would have gone ahead had the Queen been here. I, I, I don't know. We, we don't know that, do we? Well, I think... I think they're in, they're in deep with Netflix, aren't they? You know, Netflix are their paymasters now. Um, so I think it would have to have gone ahead once they'd signed on the dotted line. It's really interesting. Let's go back to Noel just very briefly, Noel, because there is this thing about it depends what age you are as to how you feel about Meghan and Harry. Um, do you think that younger people, particularly in the US, maybe are a bit more sympathetic? Well, Lorena, I think we can see that full generation display uh, very much in front of our eyes. Look at the Netflix trailers, they're slick. It's all about their 21st century love story and it's all about uh, Harry and Meghan. You know, people here see them as two rebels, you know, two people who are going above and beyond, smashing the glass ceiling. And they see Harry as this overprotective husband, you know, you know, embracing the woman and supporting the woman and standing by the woman who he loves and then I think it's inevitable. Whenever you talk to people here, the comparisons to Princess Diana always comes up. On the other hand, those who support, uh, you know, Prince William and King Charles, they see Harry and uh, Meghan as disruptors who are out to cause profound damage to the monarchy. So there is a huge divide in this country, but I think overall there are a lot of support for Harry and Meghan in terms of their branding, what they're doing and telling their stories. Thank you both of you um, for joining us this morning and, and there has like we said there's been a lot of criticism of those images but to be fair to Harry and Meghan that could be Netflix using them you know if they don't have control over that and they don't have the final say we just don't know.